10 is Downs, Brendan McVeigh. He was the senior member of Downs All-Ireland final team, but due recognition for Brendan after a season of many highs. The right cornerback from Two Mile House is Peter Kelly of Kildare. Down in Kildare is Hank. Peter was drafted into the championship team at the start of the qualifiers this year and very quickly made his mark. The fullback on this season's all-star team is a Cork man, Michael Shields. One of Cork's mainstays in defence again this summer. Michael from the Vars and UCC showed his class time and again. At left corner back from the St. John's Club in Sligo, Charlie Harrison. It's a well-deserved honour for Charlie, a full-time GAA coach, one of the main driving forces in Sligo's productive season. The number five had a brilliant season. It's Cork's Poddy Kassan. Rated one of the key figures in Cork's championship success, Poddy put behind him an injury in 2009 to make it right to the top in 2010. Centre back, a West Cork man from Bantry Blues. It's the Cork captain, Graham Canty. Few can forget that moment when Graham was introduced into this year's All Ireland final and how the game changed in Cork's direction. Completing the half back line is a footballer representing the Ulster champions, Tyrone. It's Philip Jordan. Yes, there was another Ulster title for Tyrone this summer and Philip, as ever, was central to so much of their exciting football and has been down through the years. At midfield, wearing number eight, the first All-Star ever from Louth, would you welcome Paddy Keenan. Arguably the most popular of tonight's winners, Paddy has led from the front for Louth since his championship introduction in 2003. His centre-field partner is from Kenturk in County Cork, winning his first All-Star. Will you salute, please, Aidan Walsh? Yeah, first in football, but don't be surprised if you see Aidan winning another in hurling sometime, where he's also very, very accomplished. Aidan Walsh in midfield. Now moving on to the half-forward line, and gaining selection at number 10 is Downs' Danny Hughes. For his work rate and efficiency alone, Danny deserves to be honoured, but this summer he played some truly inspiring football. On the 40 is a player who had a really wonderful championship. From County Down, it's Marty Clark. He's modestly played down his uh, part in Down's resurgence this year, but everyone else recognises the huge contribution that Marty has made. And completing the half-forward line is the top scorer in this season's championship. A Lily White from Allenwood in Kildare, it's Johnny Doyle. Top scorer indeed, Des, with 149. Football fans everywhere will be delighted to see Johnny collect his deserved All-Star. At the top of the right, it's the genius from Killarney, from Dr. Crooks. Will you welcome Colum the Gooch Cooper? His sixth All-Star since 2002. Colum widely acknowledged as one of the great crowd pleasers of Gaelic football. And yes, he is a genius. A full forward, a player who brightened up the championship for the dubs, the one and only Bernard Brogan. Had a year unlike any other, Bernard ignited Dublin's attack, scoring three goals and 42 points in the process and thrilled football followers. At top of the left and completing the GA All-Star football team for 2010 is a wonderful footballer called Benny Coulter. Well, he may not have the All-Ireland medal yet, but Benny finally gets long overdue recognition for his quality and for his excellence. Benny Coulter of Down on the All-Star team.